Hi guys, Bob from Greybeard Models, welcome back to the channel. Uh, thought I'd just do a quick catch up um, to show you where I've got on the lifeboat. Um, yeah, first things first though, I'd like to say a massive, massive thank you to all of you guys who have signed up. Um, I just noticed the other day um, that I've gone over 1200 subs, which is bloody amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for dropping in, thanks for signing up. Um, that's great. Um, really, really, really chuffed. Um, so yeah, thanks, thanks for joining us. And uh, well, what I've got to do? Catch up on the lifeboat. Let's get over to the bench and uh, see what we've got. Right. So <laughs> done. <laughs> done loads of painting separate from the construction. Um, the reason is it was like a lot of things that have are inside the inside the cabin as it were and i thought i might as well just get on and paint those before i start putting them together because you know i can put those together after they've been painted but i've had a few mishaps um the sides of the the um the cabin wall and a bit of a bleed through there on on some of the masking and um, looking at it like that you can see these areas that where i'd mask them off actually it should have got painted so th there's there's bits of touch up to do and uh on this side there's, there's the same there's a couple of little areas that that will need to be touched up um that that's that and uh we've got the controls the control desk done up painted this little computer screen thing here um yeah going through um a lot of the research photographs to find out what all those things are and a lot of them have got really tiny knobs and switches and, and whatnot so they probably won't uh they won't be very good <laughs> you know i won't be able to paint at that level so it's fine but managed to get on with some little sort of sub sub assemblies that are there and uh things like painting details and whatnot so we got on with all of that which was great um and the other thing that i got on with was the crew figures now you remember the crew figures from the last video they they look really good so what i'll do is i'll put these to one side and uh we'll get a look at the crew figures right so we've got the crew figures sort of painted um and i came across <laughs> a little bit of difficulty here um one is the size of these things um you know i know i know these guys out there who do miniature figure painting like gav uh and how how he does it i, I have no idea but this is you know this is a typical figure one of the things that i found when i was doing research was the the uniforms the equipment seems to change seems to have changed over the years um so i was looking at these sorts of the, this sort of uniform as it were um and yeah i mean i'm quite happy with the way they've turned out um you know probably done them a lot better uh with a lot more practice got to do the the life belt on this this guy who's launching the life belt um but i've got these figures sorted out and i'm i'm sort of quite happy with them really to be honest um they're all colored up i've got to give them a, a coat of matte varnish and uh hopefully they'll they'll be that they'll be suitable um well they'll have to be because it's all i've got so yeah so that's the figures they um one of the things i found was this this particular part um according to airfix's color call outs this is black but my research actually after i gave it a matte um coat in a black or a primer coat of black uh did some more research and and actually it's not um in the main uh on the on the boats themselves it, it's it's um orange 
and it's only certain parts of these that are actually black so I've given it a, a dust over with, with a couple of coats of orange just to take the black undercoat back um, and then I'll, I'll do some detail painting on that but that was a bit of a bugger to find that out um, the the hoist um, yeah had to give that a little bit of a bit of work and it needs probably another coat of paint just to give it a little bit more more life to it and also there are some hoses um, when I looked at this uh, you know it's a, it's a hydraulic hoist and anybody that knows anything about hydraulic hoists you need hydraulic cables um, and there are a couple of cables that go in that area there um, so that'll be a bit of detailing work that we'll do but uh, yeah apart from that that's all gone together fine now the hull right so let's bring that forward um, so I masked up the hull done the, done the sort of three colours but unfortunately I've had a bit of a, uh, a bit of a muck up with it um, I got areas there that bled through or the masking I think the masking tape I had I don't know how old it was but it, it yeah it's it, not very good at all and a lot of the edges aren't as crisp as I would like personally um, so I'm thinking about redoing all of this um, the top these these top areas here um, whatever they're called gunnels maybe I don't know um, these are all black so they've got to be masked up and painted black um, and then I've got to re-mask the hull and get the you know try and get some of these bleed marks out um, and probably give this white line another shot of white um, just to give it a little bit more crispness there, even on this side there's a bit blowing through there a massive bleed through there which you know that's a bit of a bum and then at the rear end it had a bit of a bleed bleed through here and here so i've got to go back and uh um, and and then sort of mask this up and re retouch that up uh there's also a bit there where it didn't get enough blue up against oh i'll go into shot shall i uh right in this part here uh this blue should have gone up further uh up to this mark this part um and that so i'm gonna have to redo probably redo the whole sort of tail area touch it up and you know do all of that so it's not come out as good as i'd hoped um but it has come out better than i'd hoped if you know what i mean it didn't come out as good as i'd hoped but it came out better than i thought it was going to do right because I don't build boats, right? Yeah, so that's where we are with the with the lifeboat. Um, like I say, got to rework the hull again, and uh, I'm sure there's guys out there <laughs> that uh, you know you do boats and all that, and you're probably pulling your hair out and watching what I'm doing and saying, "No, you don't do that," and all the rest of it. I think in hindsight, which is a wonderful thing, isn't it? I think in hindsight I should have just put the hole together and not worried about the deck. Should have left the deck. <clears throat> but my reasoning at the time, and you know, obviously I may have gone wrong there, but my reasoning was the deck would hold the the hull sturdy. Um all of this sort of stuff, apart from these seat bases, were was already moulded on. So I just thought, yeah, right, okay. Uh, so I probably made a mistake or two there. But hey, um, yeah. So I'll redo this and tidy it up. And also another thing I noticed this morning, I've got a chip of paint come off there and a bit come off there. <sighs> I think the lifeboat might have to go into dry dock and have, have a refit. But uh, anyway, uh, 
I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're, <laughs> you're keeping up with what I'm doing. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye for now.